Hey guys, welcome back to Faith for Keto Kitchen. So, today we're doing another review for the Keto Crate. And it's September Keto Crate. And so we're going to check it out. That's my daughter, Kalika. You it's her birthday month. It's my birthday month, yes. And I went to Disney for my birthday. Woo, I just got back actually. Disney World. Disney World. Because there's a difference. Anyway, so we went to Disney World with me and my hubby and my nephew and his wife. So we had a blast and I just probably jet lag right now, but that's okay. We're going to move forward in this review of the Keto Crate, gluten-free, keto-friendly, aspartame-free, all that freedom in this crate. Anyway, it's not free. No, the crate is not free. But anyway, and not even for me because I pay for these things and I'm not sponsored yet by Keto Crate. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, yes, Keto Crate. Anyway, so, fabulous keto crate. So I noticed this time, because I took a little peek see in here before I went on my vacation, and I noticed that they don't put the card in here, at least for this one, that has all the um, the prices and everything. And like, you remember how some of them had the recipes and stuff like that? I know, right? But they- It's upsetting. It is upsetting, because it was kind of cool to have that. But so this one has, um, Members only keto dot club. So I guess they made it into a club now where you join online, you can see all the stuff online. So that's fine. But anyway, yeah, that's how they did it this time. No carbs allowed, it says on this one. So that's what you'll get in the box. This is like an advertisement mm -hmm. for butcher's bone broth. Yeah. And I'm, I'm assuming it's in the crate. I'm hoping it's in the crate. I didn't see it in there. Like I said, I peeked in here and I didn't see that in there. So I don't know if I'm missing something, but I Maybe digress. I just accidentally didn't give you a card. I want my card to the crate. I want my card. Then anyway. Now I have to do things out of order because of you. And so we're going to do the first item we're going to check. And today they have Moo is Moot. Moo is Moot. Am I reading that right? Yes. It's Moo is Moot. <laughs> Look at Damia. As in, moo doesn't matter because it's not actual milk. Oh, don't get that. But anyway, this is milk of Damia, unsweetened vanilla milk. And we have tried this. My husband and I just recently actually tried not the vanilla flavor, but the regular unsweetened what one. And um, our buddy, I'll put our, I'll put her link. She has a uh, Instagram as well and a YouTube uh, Keto Fi veteran. Uh, she hooked me up to the milkadamia, and it's delicious. I really like it, guys. I don't know how this one tastes. Do you want to taste some of these things, or you want to just show? Today. We can taste it, but I don't know if you want to open this right now. Okay, well, I won't open it right now, but it is really good, guys, okay? And the next item we have is nacho cheese Pro Puffs. So, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I forgot to give you the stats on this. So, the Milkadamia says it's 50 calories. There's four um, contain in this container, four servings in this container. One protein, one carbohydrate, which is a one dietary fiber, so that canceled that out. And it has macadamia milk in it, calcium in it, made with pea protein, uh, locust bean gum, sea salt, sunflower lectin, uh, galvan gum, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin D14. So good milk, and it's vegan, dairy free, and gluten free. It's really tasty, guys. So try this milkadamia. It's really tasty. I recommend that one. Now back to the puff that she's trying to sneak into. These nacho cheese pro puffs, go ahead and try them, is 21 grams of protein, three grams of carbs, and they're made by the company Mills for Muscle. Mills for Muscle, that's pretty cool. Millsformuscle.com, this is a one point, so one point ounce bag. Very tiny, <laughs> it's so little. Okay, calories are 133 calories. Um, there is one serving, so this whole thing is a serving. See how they look, can you show them how they look? nasty it's they're like little remind me of little tricks remember the trick cereal that's how, how small they are I think I didn't expect it to be so nacho I guess no. but like normal you know in stuff where it says nacho cheese you just gotta expect cheese mm -hmm. but there's there's a lot of spice to it that is not too it's good if that's a word so this whole container is uh, 133 calories uh, the protein 21 fat is six grams of fat three carbs Three which are sugars. It says crunchy, savory, uh, gluten-free, or guilt-free. Ingredients are, wow, these letters are extremely okay. small. I can usually read really small. Where are we small. talking? 
four day ingredients are? Uh, the ingredients are molecular uh, casin, whey protein, concentrate, cheddar seasoning, and natural cheese flavor. Contains milk, now manufactured in a facility that processes peanuts. So that's interesting. So the first ingredient is a molecular cas casein and whey protein. So what is that? I'll get back to you on that one. Anywho, so I mean they're they're okay. They're okay. They, they remind me of a little trick cereal. They have the same texture of trick cereal. Yeah. Well, where it, it it's gonna sound bad, but you know how thing it tastes like cardboard. Yeah. It's got that crunchy cardboard kind of thing, but it's not bad cardboard. Yeah. I'm not really a fan of it. It's okay. It kind of sticks yeah, to taste. I think they threw me off with the. I, I know it's nacho cheese, but things normally don't taste directly like the spice of the nacho cheese. They taste like the cheese. Yeah. But that tastes more like the spice. I'm not a fan. I'm not really a fan of that. So, I'm gonna go check what that bell is. I take it over the show. I take it over the show. Okay. Next, what else is there? Did you check take anything else out? No, I didn't. All right. So the next. I looked at them, but I didn't take them out. So the next item is gherkins. G H gherkin Looks like snack. A Real mini gherkin marinated in Gaia extra virgin oil and vinegar. What's so, a gherkin? Gherkin is a is um pickle. Or you know, cucumber mini. So they have this fancy pack. I'm good. See that? that? That's all on you. It's a fancy pack, guys. And it says to open, lift, and peel up, pull up flap at both ends. Okay, they look disturbing, but. It's <laughs> <laughs> like an alien finger. Even an almost invisible hole on the pack may result in product degrad degradation. Refrigerator used in three days. Meaning okay. it has to be really well refrigerated and eaten within the three days you open it. Um, they're okay. I don't really like it. Okay, so calories are five for it's three servings in this little package. You get like about half a cup in here. Uh, one carb, which is one dietary fiber, and zero protein. So, I mean, I mean, the pickles in a jar that I get are fine. So, unless this is, I guess this is, could be for traveling. Do you have, if you have the refrigerator after you open it, so you really can't travel, a little bit like a jar of pickles you can actually travel with and close and you don't have to worry about it. But they're okay. Like I, I said, I'm I don't like pickles. I'm not excited about them. So, we have a few more items in here. This one is called Plant. It's it's called Scout, Backcountry Scout. And they are sunflower seeds? Pumpkin seeds. Oh, pumpkin seeds. All you again. Organic pumpkin seeds, roasted pumpkin seeds, pepitas. Mountain Ranch flavor. Mmm. Mm, mm. What does a mountain ranch taste like? Um, a ranch or dressing. Or are talking it's ranch dressing? Ranch flavor. dressing that was left on the mountain. So, so it's gone bad, is what yeah, you're saying. You know, you know what you gotta do. So this one has two servings in this bag, 170 calories, uh, they're gluten-free, GMO, non-GMO, 18 grams of protein, omega-3s, gluten-free, etc., grain-free, all that good stuff. Let's see, organic pumpkin seeds are in here, apple cider vinegar, sunflower oil, cane sugar, which is a no-no for us really. Uh, organic garlic, onions, um, pink Himalayan salt, black pepper, salt, thyme, mustard. My daughter is leaving. I'm fixing the camera. And that's it. Also, there's five carbs in here, 14 grams of fat, and two, which are dietary fibers. So there are three carbs in this, in, for this package, and there's two servings in this right. package. The cheese stuff is still stuck in my mouth. I know. I know. The cheese stuff is not the bomb. Not really. So I'm gonna try this one since my daughter doesn't like pumpkin seeds. This is what they look like. Can you see that? They look like dehydrated pumpkin seeds, actually. That's probably what they are. 
might be good. I like them. But they have cane sugar in it, so that's kind of a no-no for us. But if they're in a pinch, these are really tasty. They're pretty good. Scott. Mm. I like. It says grown, they're grown without the shell. These roasted pumpkin seeds have a rich dark color, truly an um, antioxidant superfood. They're packed full of protein, omega-3 fatty acids, zinc, potassium, and magnesium. So that's healthy for you. All right, guys. You want to try the next one? Yeah. Okay. So this is a Dutch sugar dark chocolate artisan cereal. Uh, Catalina Crunch Zero Sugar Food. So it's a cereal. Get off from the top. It's all stuck up there. So free thing cereal with Catalina Crunch. Uh, Catalina Crunch is an un, un cereal. Dutch the sugar. Ditch the sugar and empty carbs and treat yourself to four items the protein, five times the fiber, and zero sugar. Keto mm -hmm. friendly, gluten free, nothing artificial, plant based, zero sugar, made protein. Okay. No sugars, dietary fiber, uh, four fat, 90 calories. So, it's interesting. And it's what's the flavor? It's dark chocolate. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, really. Neither am I. I eat it for a keto sip of it, or I like Lily, Lily's dark chocolate is fine. So, you're either going to get mad at me or think this is terrible? What? It or looks it? like dog food. Oh, okay. You didn't hear that. What's the company you think? Oh, it looks like dog food. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like squares or something. Because look, that's not that's that's a bad thing. Oh, and it's but like the squares on the front are huge. Okay, there's squares on the front. I thought I was getting like mini wheats. Yeah. Size stuff, but this is like, like it's strong. It's, it's little pellets. Actually, take it back. Not dog food, hamster food. Yeah, it's pellets. This is different. Let's see, but we can't hate on it yet. We gotta yeah. try it. We neither of us like dark chocolates. So. Right. Calina Crunch. Not bad. I mean, it's like eating Teddy Grahams with no sugar. Yeah. Yes. No, it's bad. I don't like it. Oh, there's the, yeah, that's the dark chocolate after his. But then it's a weird dark chocolate. It's like pasty. Okay, no. I'm sorry. It's not, it's not good. You like them? Really? Okay, for me. I don't know if I like them. This the sugar. Um, I don't like, if you guys, Catalina Crunch, if you have a different flavor, I'd love to try it. I think I'll look it up online. Maybe milk not, chocolate? Yeah, I'm not liking, I don't like chocolate like that. These to me have a weird aftertaste, remind me of something from my youth. I can't pinpoint it, but I'm not a fan. I don't hate it. We gotta look it up and see if they have something different, like a fruity flavor. I like fruit flavor cereals. Maybe um, if I got a little bowl and I had this. With the, with the macadamia, macadamia milk, milk, milk Oh, vanilla milk Yeah, yeah. I'll try that. In a That's kind of cool. They put cereal and milk in there. Hold oh, on. We'll, we'll go back to that in a second. Okay, we're going to try that in a little bit. Let's finish through. So, let's try. Do you want to try a beef stick? Or... Mm. This is a good one. I'm not going to eat that. Okay, so this is a bite. It looks like there's dog treats all over the box. Anyway, so this is Nush, and I've seen this a lot on Instagram. A lot of people are eating this. I've been wanting to try this Nush cake. They have like cinnamon ones, I think, apple, different flavors. This one is a blueberry cake one, and it's with natural flavorings, made with flax seeds. It's all mine, and my hubby's, I'll save him some, because she's not having it. It's made with coconut oil. So the ingredients, it says, it's breakfast on the go. It's great little snacks, maybe even a dessert, about it's, and without the sugars, Nush. I think that's how you say it. Noosh. Noosh trition is what they're saying. All right, calories, 160 calories. I think when they do that, when well, they have that folded over the, that you can hardly see, I think A, 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 D, uh, A, D Keto, my buddy, he was like, he hits that too. When they have the flat folded yeah. over the ingredients, you can't even get to it. And it's like I a really a difficult keto. flat. Yes. So anyway, this one has 160 calories. 12 grams of fat, we have 18 grams of carbs, which are four or five, or one is sugar, 11 sugar alcohol. So the carbs are basically coming from the sugar alcohol, which kind of um, kind of cancels itself out. We got flax, 
uh, erythritol in there, coconut oil, eggs, gly uh, glycerin, blueberries, uh, natural flavoring, leavening, which is baking powder basically, um, rosemary extract, okay, monk fruit extract, and salt. Pretty cool. So let's try this one out before we get to the next one. Hands out the box, girly. Anyway, hands out the box. Anyway, nush, let's try this. I think I don't know how you said nush, 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 because it has a little dot thingies over it, and that's, I guess that's, where's that from? <laughs> cheese in your teeth. The bottom two. From that doggone natural cheese puff stuff. Here's <laughs> my thing. So this is what it looks like, guys. I gotta go check that. This is what it looks like. You want to pause there? Spongy. The texture doesn't sound good. Look, it feels like an undercooked, like something I'm trying to make and right. it didn't work out right. Okay, I don't like it. Sorry, I'm sorry guys, I saw it on Instagram. Maybe it's just this flavor. Don't like that. Sorry. I'm taking over again. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the cool crate. Yep. That is the keto crate for this month. And the month is September. That's the cereal floating in it. <laughs> the month is September. And my birthday month. And Do we want to try those? What? The milk and the cereal? Uh-uh. I mean, no, thank you. I wasn't a fan of the cereal, but it's okay. You know, you can't like everything, but I do love the keto crate. Generally, they have not failed so far. There's something in there for everyone, and everyone has different tastes. So whether it's a recipe, whether it's a product, whatever it is, everyone has different tastes. So it's okay, someone might like it. So don't, you know, just completely go by me, whoa. Okay, so that was delicious all of the keto crate um, items in there, pretty much. Yeah, um, okay. yeah. I mean, they were pretty Some decent. of them were like, meh. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of, well, what I'm thinking about it was a lot of kind of nothing. Like, you know, I don't think I, I was A lot of snacks and then cereal. Yeah, it was, I wasn't truly, but I would say I would get it for the, the beef stick, which is always a beef stick in there, um, the pumpkin seeds, and the milkadamia, because that's a big amount of milkadamia. And the cheese thing, the cheese crisp thing, we always get that kind of cheese thing. So it was okay this month of September for Keto Crate. Hoping for an even better one next month. The baby, should I continue buying these Keto Crates? What do you think? I don't know, because it's hit or miss sometimes, but Epsi and all those other crate things are always hit or miss, so. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll try one more time. And if next month is the way I like it to be, then I'll continue to keep it. If not, I'll just continue to do my food blogging and leave it at that, <laughs> you know, instead of doing all these, unless they choose to send me a keto crate. Other than that, I don't know, I might just cancel. You guys let me know if you like this sort of um, review for the keto crate, let me know and I'll keep it. If not, I'll cancel it because I want to make sure you guys are enjoying uh, the reviews and anything else that we, you know, film. So, let me know. And this is the end of the film. Alright. <laughs> so guys, this we'll talk to you later. It's Faith for Keto Kitchen. Yes, it and is. And we will talk to you guys later on the next Keto Cream. Alright guys, bye. <laughs>